It's no secret that for retail investors, building financial plans, let alone executing them, is overwhelming. Conversely, bankers, advisors, and other professionals in the industry sometimes have a hard time getting an accurate understanding of their client's true needs. Getting this relationship wrong can be costly to both businesses and investors alike. Our next startup, Finn Do It, and their CEO, co-founder and CEO, Felix Lanquintra, simplifies this process using data, algorithms, and a very intuitive UI. From here in Barcelona, Felix first experienced FinTech using the Bizum app, which for those of you outside of Spain is sort of the mobile payment tool that we have here. And he believes that every company could become a bank. Felix, welcome up on stage. Thank you very much, Elias. Good luck. If there is something that persists over time during my 20 years of experience in the financial sector, is that the relationship between financial institutions and their customers can be improved. Because today, people don't invest to plan their future, and financial institutions need their customers to invest to get profit. So now we have a match. But how can we help institutions solve this problem? I've been doing it. We are a software as a service B2B platform whose main goal is to increase profitability per customer while connecting people's plans to investment. We promote a better and continuous communication between financial entities and their customers by personalizing all interactions with them to make better and easier financial decisions. So now, thanks to Find Do It, while users plan their goals, we push customers to invest, and we collect data to offer analytics and predictions to capture all information and to predict future behaviors and to make banks more efficient. Our business model is based on a monthly subscription plan. We charge for an initial setup and then for the calls to our servers and for our services. Right now, financial calculations, analytics, machine learning prediction, and automated reports, all of them via API. We plan to reach 4 million euros in net revenue in 2024, generating more than 400,000 euros in EBITDA and achieving break even in 2024, more or less 1,000 customers. Only in Spain, there are more than 2,000 companies similar to our early adopters. And we will approach, as we do right now, banks, insurers, financial advisors, real estate as well. A huge number of customers around the world. Our main competitive advantage is our ability to hyper-personalize the commercial relationship between financial institutions and their customers, while we capture behaviors and future patterns. We are a complementary funding team that brings value in all critical areas of the business. Ariane, as a tech advisor role, has more than 50 years of experience in software development companies. Joey, CTO and co-founder at Finduit, with more than 10 years in software development. And me, CEO and co-founder, Felix, with more than 15 years of experience in the financial sector, expert in business, digital transformation, and financial mathematics. We want to achieve our next goals that are a go-to-market strategy, to continue building our cost business, our cost business to be able to scale while adding innovative technology to our products. For that, we are looking for a round of 250,000 euros to scale up Finduit. So join Finduit to help us making institutions profitable by helping their clients to achieve their goals. Thank you very much for your attention. Excellent, Felix. I love the presentation. Um, again, as I was saying at the, uh, the very beginning, I was able to hang out with this batch. And Felix is one of the first startups I got to chat with. And we had a 30-minute talk. And it's been really yeah. cool to see how your product has evolved and how it's, it's gotten even better than how you first pitched it to me back in was it, it was November, wasn't it? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, OK. <laughs> so we have some questions from the audience, of course, if you're ready. Um, is your technology applicable to more fields than just insure tech and fintech? 
Of course, I th we think that many, many sectors need to automate their calculations. Then for that, we are approaching real estate uh, and additional sectors, of course. Excellent. Um, how does, okay, so banks hold tons of data, right? Like that's just, banks have tons of data, mm -hmm. right? That's their sort of, their, their secret weapon right now. Um, how can, fit, which gives them tons of leverage on understanding their customers. How does Fin do it? Bring more value uh, to the banks uh, based on you know what Fin do it can provide the banks than what they have already in mm -hmm. terms of data. Well, really, uh, the financial entities has a cost of acquisition cost very very high, and they have many problems in order to retention in order to get retention of their customers. Our main value is to get help them to reduce their cost of acquisition customers and to bring value in order to get retentions. Our main um, uh, purpose is to offer data to help them to predict the future behaviors of their customers in order to take better decisions and in order to define better products for the customers. Right, so that makes total sense because again, uh, the, the banks who are going to succeed, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, are the ones who are gonna be able to give that sort of accurate information towards exactly their users, right, Excellent. towards their, the, to, to customize those product offerings. Yeah. And in that, do you see yourself as a competitor or a, a complementary service to open banking? We are complementary services. Uh, many people compare us with uh, digital marketing, but uh, right now it's not, it's not like, like that because we have the expertise as a whole and we can offer uh, good services uh, in, the, in, the, in the blockchain really. In the, in, the, in the chain value, really. Oh, excellent, excellent. And in terms of, so if I'm a bank and I see this presentation, like, wow, I need Finduit in my stack. How hard is it for me to get that, you know, your product into my, into my workflow? It's, it really is, and we have discovered, because we have customers right now, we have two customers uh, in the financial entities, um, and we have discovered that IT departments right now are very, very busy, collapsed. Right. <laughs> And what, what, what's important for us is that we help them to bring to business many futures that due to, thanks to uh, their IT departments, it's not possible. Then externalizing our services, banks could accelerate a lot their digital transformation projects. For that, I think it's very, very important to count, down, uh, count with Finduit for that uh, processes. And responding to your answer, really, the integration is very, very easy. We are building a core that allows us to be scalable, and, and then it will be easy and fast to integrate. Excellent, excellent. And we got one last question. Uh, what is your customer acquisition strategy? So how are you going to reach these well, customers? Really, at the moment, because we are starting, uh, we are facing a very traditional approach because we have more than 20 years of experience around uh, in the in the financial sector. We know we know a lot of people, and usually we can talk with financial entities. Then we are getting customer right now by traditional approach. After that, we are going to more or less in June. We are going to face a LinkedIn campaign, Sales Navigator, in order to face uh, to approach to marketing directors, business directors in financial entities, uh, but never forgetting. Uh, the face to face approach. Excellent. Felix, thank you so much. Thank you very much. Best of luck. Thank you again, Felix. Felix and Finduit.